Phil, a goalless draw today against Mansfield, but a really resolute defensive performance to go with it. Yeah, pleased with the point. Um, first half was tough. Um, they started really well. Our quality let us down on the ball, but there were still lots of good elements of the game in terms of the way we stood strong defensively, defended set plays, got important blocks in. Arthur's made some important saves and gave us the opportunity at half-time to be still in the game and, and improve in, in, in a few areas and, and look like the team who could have gone and won it in the end. So, yeah, you know, credit to Mansfield, obviously full of confidence here, here at home and they played really well in those early exchanges. Um, but like I've said many times, uh, you know, if, if a part of your game is not in place, like our, our quality, then you've got to make sure that the kind of strength and determination to keep the ball out the back of the net is. And uh, it was tonight, and uh, it's a hard-earned point for us, but well-deserved. There was a lot of pressure in that first half, as you mentioned, but Arthur Oconquo, a special word on him, some really strong saves there in that first half. Yeah, no, very good. I'm looking forward to, to watching those back, but one in particular was skipped off the surface and made a terrific save. You know, he's, he's feeling his way in. He's, he's going to be a good sign for us, for us Arthur. Um, settled in really well with the lads. And, and I thought his all-round game was really solid tonight. But a performance like that in a clean sheet, it's only going to be one of them that boosts his confidence moving forward, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think his confidence needs boosting. He's, he's a confident lad and uh, um, I feel he's enjoying being here with us. Like I said, he's uh, got an apartment. He's settled in well. And uh, you know, even when he wasn't in the side at the start, while we we're getting him up to speed, he, he was great to have around. So, yeah, I'm pleased with him tonight. And uh, but not only that, you know, the way we defended as a team, um, you know, it was a real credit to the lads. In the second half, as you mentioned, we got gathered momentum, and that came through, especially Ollie Palmer's work in both boxes. Yes, um, I mean, we've had some great chances second half to have won it ourselves, and um, you know, couldn't quite find that goal. Um, Ollie's header, in particular, is one that stand out one. Um, I thought Jacob kind of grew into the role playing on that right hand side. It's not easy, even though he has played there before. Um, we haven't had a lot of chance to, to work with him in training in that position. But I felt he grew into it and, and looked really threatening in the, in the second half. So credit to him for that. Obviously, we lost the appeal with, with Barney and Ford. He's got a, um, an injury, so we were restricted on options there. But I thought Jacob like acquitted himself well. Is that the other pleasing aspect from tonight where you've got players playing in positions that they don't often play in Jacob, as you mentioned, on the right-hand side of the back five there and Tom O'Connor left of the back three, but yeah. both of them putting in solid performances. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that with Tommy because Tommy's played left-back in Division 1 a lot, played left-side centre-back. You know, he, he, play, he can play there. He's equally you know, comfortable playing there as midfield, so I don't feel that was a, a kind of... Um, you know, a concern at all because he, he's a good player and I thought he did really well tonight Tommy he, he stuck to his task and, and you know you always know with Tommy that he's got a real quality pass in him going forward and uh, he showed that at times and a performance to build on ahead of the weekend with another team at the right end of the table in Crawley the weekend yeah tough games but I said to the lads before the game that you know, it was two years ago we were running out all the shot in front of 1100 people you know this club's come a, a long way and we've worked very hard as a club to get to nights like this where you know, it's a far better stage than what we've been used to. Full house, great atmosphere against a good team. And we've got to make sure that shoulders back, you know, spring in our step, go, go and really enjoy it because you know, we go to Crawley at the weekend and you know, we can keep building on the, on the performances. Um, and we go look back at the crew game, which obviously is a staff we, we did since the weekend. And that was an immense performance, an immense effort from the lads. It really was um, the way we took the game to them in the second half and, and, and played so well and, and should have won it with 10 men. And the lads put a lot of effort in that. And you know, sometimes you know, we didn't make many changes tonight because we wanted to keep a bit of continuity in there. Um, but yeah, that was a real shift at the weekend, and another one tonight. But we'll be ready for we'll be ready for Crawley.